guys. Good morning. Um, good to see you all. Appreciate you coming out to see uh, one of the great traditions, of course, in American democracy. I, of course, voted for Donald Trump and myself. Uh, so did so did my wife. Look, I feel good. You never know until you know, but I feel good about this race. I felt good about my own race a couple of years ago when I voted in this exact same spot. Hopefully it goes as well for President Trump and me as it went for me a couple of years ago in the state of Ohio. So, well, look, I think our message is, first of all, we do expect to win, but obviously no matter who wins, half the country, as you said, is going to be uh, at least partially disappointed. I think my attitude is the best way to heal the rift in the country is to try to govern the country as well as we can, create as much prosperity as we can for the American people and remind our fellow Americans that we are all fundamentally on the same team however we voted. I certainly hope you vote for Donald J. Trump today. I think that his policies are going to promote peace and prosperity for our citizens. But if you vote the wrong way, in my view, I'm still going to love you. I'm still going to treat you as a fellow citizen. And if I am lucky enough to be your vice president, I'm going to fight far hard for your dreams and for your family over the next four years. No, actually, he called me about three in the morning, apparently from the plane headed from uh, Michigan to Palm Beach last night. I was in bed at the time. I haven't been able to talk to him this morning. I was going to call him as soon as I woke up. But when I realized that he got back home around 530 last night, I decided hopefully he's asleep. And so I'm not going to call him. I'll certainly talk to him probably on the way to the airport or when we land. One outlier poll doesn't change what we've seen on the ground. We feel very good about the energy. We feel very good about the early vote. But ultimately, the ball is in the courts of the American people. Today is the day. If you don't want an open border, vote for Donald Trump. If you want to get back to low inflation and affordable groceries, vote for Donald Trump. If you want to return the world to peace and stability, vote for Donald Trump. That's my pitch to voters. I really do believe that we can have a golden age of prosperity in the United States of America, but voters are going to ultimately make that choice. I don't worry about any one poll. I think that we're going to win. I really do. But ultimately, the voters make that decision. We'll see what they uh, what they think about this by the, by the end of the day, hopefully. God bless you guys. Thank you. Ready? Washington is all set for a presidential battle like no other. In less than 90 days, it's either going to be him or me sitting in the Oval Office. Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. All we want is one simple thing. Get out on Tuesday. A vice president versus a former president. As we head towards election night, Vantage will be live from the heart of the action. Speaking to voters in this final stretch. I'm still very undecided. Very close presidential race. Tracking the campaigns as they make the last push. From exclusive ground reports to in-depth analysis, this is your one-stop destination for the presidential race. Join us on this special edition of Vantage, live from the White House in Washington, D.C.